Hello, welcome to episode 26 of the Harry Potter painting series. As you can see, we're doing Bellatrix this time. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, here we go, Bellatrix. Um, as you can see, I've made a start on it. I've used the, the Hogwarts Magic Mix of the German Grey Water and uh, Flow Improver to do the dress. Um, so uh, that, that was a couple of coats, and I've, I've still got a few highlights there. I was working off um, a Zenithal Primer to start with. The flesh is going to be the same as Lucius uh, or the face painting tutorial and the hair was a German grey as well. So the, um, the the bodice part in the middle that's um, scale 75's black leather to start there so we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. It's going to be a lot lighter as we go on. So to start the dress, I have got a mix of German grey and rust grey because I want a nice bluey grey mix to highlight up to may maybe rust grey. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but um, I'm going to make a start anyway. So it's a it's like a medium grey, kind of dark grey but it's, it's, as I say there's a bit of blue in there but I'm, I'm going to build it up uh, as we go along I'm just going to tilt this slightly and I'm using the side of the brush you know the drill now pick out the tops of the creases and I'm, I'm going to go a little bit in down into the creases as well with this colour because I want the the tops of the creases to be the you know the lightest part, so we're gonna we're gonna go quite a few tones lighter there. So that bit there, and we'll come down. So I'm gonna carry on with that and see what it looks like. That's a couple of coats there. And um, on, on hindsight, it's more of a, a layer rather than a highlight. So I'm, I'm blocking in everything apart from the deepest, uh, deeper shadows. So let's put another coat on now. I'll take it all the way up. Not being particularly careful at this stage because you know the, the highlights are gonna go for the top of all of these more or less. Just make sure you get all of that hip there. And the top part of the boobs as well. A tiny shade lighter now. Um, I've added more rust grey to the mix, and I'm work, trying to work in a smaller area now. I'm not going to go all the way down on all of the creases because they they start at different places and they end at different places. So I think the the light will act differently. It'll definitely catch everything up here so I'll push the pigment up towards the hip I'm not going to go any further down into there now because you know, obviously it's in shadow I want to keep a lot of contrast Okay, I'm going to carry on, I'll do another coat. Don't forget up here as well, so I'll just do the top part of the chest. I'll push the pigment up the way. I'm going to put a, a dark um, shadow underneath as well. Another highlight, I've added some more rust grey to the mix. 
and uh, a little bit more water as well. Um, I didn't put the shadow in there yet, so as, um, I haven't done the full highlight yet. So, well, I haven't finished with the highlights. I'll, I'll put it in after the highlights. So I'm just picking out the the more prominent creases now. Pull the pigment up to the hip. I'll just pick out a couple of bits at the edges. I do a couple of coats, try and build it up slowly. Another highlight. This time I've added some uh, Fenrisian grey. So, so we're getting quite light now. We're up into a light grey kind of colour. And I've added more water so it's nice and thin. I'm just going to pull the pigment up, up to the hip. And same again. Try and pick out the tops of the the prominent creases. Sorry, I'm going to have to change my brush after this mini. I think the, the brush has had it. I'm picking out the edges. Let's run it up beside there. Uh, it's starting to look okay now, actually. I quite like that. Okay, I'll do another coat and come back. Okay, so the final highlight, I have got a 50-50 mix of Warp Fiend Grey. That's one of my favourite greys, and Slanesh Grey. So it's a 50-50 mix of that. And it's quite thin, and it's the same deal, just picking out the tops. And the, the frayed edges, try and just pick out the odd bit. Let's make it stand out. School boy error. Um, as you can see, I'm going the wrong way with the brush. I should be pulling the pigment up the way because the brightest part of the highlight is where I left the brush. So I just wet my brush and I'm just pushing it up. Let's get a nice blend. Oh, sorry. And up to the hip. You can do a couple of coats of this just to try and build it up slowly. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so this, these are the colours I'm going to be using for the corset. Um, I've already done a, a coat of black leather, so I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of the, the black leather and the orange leather. And then we'll highlight up from there then. So this is the orange leather on its own. Um, it's about... 50-50 water and paint and I'm just gonna layer on actually that's too thin actually I'm 
but we'll carry on, we'll go with it. I'll just get a coat on and then I'll probably uh, add a bit more paint to the mix so it's not as runny. And what the plan is, is to a couple of coats of this and then we'll shade down and then highlight up or highlight up and shade down, we'll see how it goes. It doesn't really matter, as long as we get an end result. The second coat on there, um, I've got a 50-50 mix of the orange and the Hiroko. I'm just going to start picking out where I think the highlights would be, you know, the, the tops of each crease. The, the creases on this are quite subtle, so um, I'll probably just start down here and then the top and then just pick out it seems to be quite random, there doesn't seem to be any pattern to them at all but did a second coat and now I've got the Roko on its own now and same again Let's pick out the highlights and then we can start shading them Probably take a couple of coats just to pick everything out. Which I can't do with the camera in the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on. Off camera. Apologies, but I skipped a step a step. After that Aroko I went back to the black leather and I use it quite thin. And then I've gone to the bottom of each crease. Um so we're, we're starting to get a bit of contrast there now and I think I might go another coat but I'll, I'll thin it down a bit and um, just try and build up the contrast. Um, it's, it's getting a bit difficult trying to do it on camera so all I'm doing as I say is uh, see what you know where I've done the the black leather now I'm just going to go in the same area again just to try and in intensify the the shadows there and there we go so I've got Iroko uh, mixed with a little bit of white and I was going to do the edges now and maybe the tops tops of the creases towards the top top of the corset Let's go along the edges. It's quite bright to start with, but when it dries, it'll calm down a little bit. So I'll put another coat of the, the black leather in, in the creases and I've done the some buttons with um, Iroko and white. What I'm going to try and do now is to put a little bit of black leather and black at the, the bottom curve of each button but uh, <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'm going to have a go anyway. Um, Needless to say, I can't do it on camera, so I'm going to take it away and come. Um, apologies, but I got distracted doing some swirls on a dress. Um, what I'm going to do with the, the corset now is do a very thin glaze of black leather. Just to tie everything in with the corset. So quite thin, I might do a couple of coats to see how it goes, just to tie everything together. Just 
really, really thin. It'll only change the tone very slightly. So I'll just wait for that to dry and I'll do exactly the same again. It'll take about two or three to get it where I want it, but yeah, that's how it goes. I'm going to do the same uh, with the skirt as well because they, they look a bit bright here compared to up the top so I'll just glaze over the top with a, a mix of the the greys that I was using earlier just to tone it down a bit. Okay so all the glazes are dry what I'm going to do now is the hair um, using this heavy blue grey I've added it to some German grey so it's about a 50 50 mix and um, I'm just going to pick out uh, strands that I think you know the light are going to catch so I'll just see this on the side of my brush you know, try and get the absolute point of your brush onto these bits uh, same same deal as uh, when I did Hagrid really I think she's got a streak here, so I might go a bit heavier on, on these ones and, and highlight them up even more. Uh, probably go up to pure blue-grey. Just going over the same area again. I'm using the, the side of my brush because it's easier than going in and using the point because when you use the point it'll it'll go into the recesses and I don't really want to do that. So I'm gonna add a bit more well I'm gonna use pure um, blue-grey and add a little bit of water to it and I'm going to switch to a, a zero brush and let's get the mix right there we go and I'm going to go for a second pass up in the you know, the right hand side of the uh, the hair because I don't know why but that seems to be lighter on the box art so let's go in for another coat let's pick it out and I think we're done on the hair So just to finish off then, um, I did the face, uh, I haven't finished the eyes yet, but um, I'll save that for the final picks. What I noticed that my usual skin flesh recipe, I had to add a lot of um, pallid witch flesh to it, just to give it that really sallow look, and she looks pretty cool with it I think. So um, yeah, we're pretty much done, so I'll take some nice picks and we'll do a wrap up. Okay, another one off the list. Um, yeah, although I, I just want to reiterate that the 
the the skin turned out a lot better with the the pallid witch flesh added to it because um, it gave it a lovely tone. Um, in in hindsight, I wouldn't bother with the swirls because you know th there's no need getting frustrated over something like that. Um, all all you need is a uh, a brush with a nice point on it and just try to keep using the tip. You know, it's, it's a good exercise for brush control, but you don't have to do it. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.